Hello, this is Tim Grin again, and in this video we're just doing a quick uh, practice game with uh, my Bravo Road to Nationals deck versus Chain. Uh, this is FaultTable.com. It's a community programmed AI that you can just kind of uh, practice against. It's basically a sandbag. The AI does some really weird decisions on um, blocking. It basically just plays out whatever it gets. Um, so this is just really good for me practicing um, just lines of play, just being able to do the math as fast as I can um, on the field and in my hand, and then just practice the lines. Um, it's when I don't have someone to actually practice against, like one of my teammates, and I just have a couple minutes to just jam a game. So we're just going to jump right into it, and you'll kind of get a window into what's going on in my head. Um, so basically, I drew a Crippling Crush Spinal Crush turn one, which is really good. Um, so that lends me to we're just going to go aggro and race. Uh, but we can't just throw this out on turn one, so I'm going to hammer and set up and probably throw Spinal in Arsenal. So we're going to hammer them. They're going to throw their hand at me. That's fine. Arsenal. Command and Conquer. All right. Um, depending what happens, I'm either going to Spinal them for i uh, I'm not worried about a Dominate. I'm just going to chew through cards and armor. Um, they have an on hit, which I'm not thrilled about. I think we're gonna, they're not gonna have anything in Arsenal, so let's just stop the plunder run. So, we're gonna stop the plunder run and the Shadow Pup Tree because it's two cards of value. Turn it off, and then we're just gonna. Uh, they can have that. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna Spinal with the Surge. They're gonna dump a couple cards into it in armor, and then I'll cripple in response, or cripple the next turn. That's it. Two pieces of armor, one card. Give me another card. Yep, there you go. So their hand's kind of mediocre now. Let's arsenal this, and we're going to hit him again. Um, no dominate? No, we can dominate. Um, I'll just use Fate for Seed to stop a, an annoying on hit. No. Oh, I'll, I'll use the helm now. I just don't want to deal with the on hit, and then it turns on helm for later if I have to, if I want to use it. Yeah, see that? You're not getting it. I'm not giving you a rune chain off that. Um, yeah, we'll keep a pummel. That's fine. We'll dominate. Dominate or cripple at them. Nuke their hand. Get some more. Get some more armor out of them. We'll get them down to one. They're. They don't have a ton of options. Actually, that's really nice. Um, four. Yeah, let's go. Let's go crush that arsenal. Man and conquer. We're gonna pummel you. Pummel you. I'm gonna take their hand again so they mill some more. And then we'll see what we get. What are they got left in here? Ooh, cripple. Yeah, seeds. Whatever. Four? No, one. Um. Now we'll throw. Wait, they're not going to arsenal. So, if they're not going to arsenal, um, I'll keep a crippling crush rolling command and conquer. Yeah, we'll throw a piece of armor at it. We'll just stop. We'll just stop the damage. Um, I'm going to crippling crush no dominate. Chew through, chew through some cards, and then arsenal the command and conquer. And ideally, this doesn't crash. There we go. We nuke their hand. What do we get? E strike and a e strike. Seeds of Agony, they got two left, so the next attack's gonna break a husk. Um, ideally, I can save this Disable for a Dominate after this Command and Conquer chews through a husk. So I don't have a Surge token for this to Dominate, so I actually want to CC first. So I've got two cards I can just throw away. Um, two coming in, no floating, yeah, we'll pitch. I'll have one floating left. We'll stop the rift pine. Do they have? They have another rift pine and the seeds. They wouldn't rift pine me again, would they? Okay. Three. Uh, no on hit trigger. I don't care. I want to keep the disable. So we're gonna surge, C and C. Chew through their husk. And then we're gonna come in with a. A dominated disable. So save these two. These two can block. Making a rune chant. What are you doing? Hey, 
I believe for four. Yeah. Um, no, we'll take the arcane damage, fate for seeing, then they're going to come in with something from from Banish. Riftbond on Hallow, Demigon. So they're probably coming in with... They should be coming in with a Bounding and then a, a Riftbind, but we'll see what it does. So I'm still... I'm not letting them have that. Yes, we are keeping that. That will literally end the game next turn. Um, come on. No. And... There's a Riftbond coming. I'm just going to use Armor to slow them down. Oh, actually, no. They're... Does Seth go again? They have Snapdragons. So we're going to block the three, and then I'll armor the next one just to maximize the defense. Or they're not going to block. All right. Well, I was assuming they were going to Snapdragon into a uh, into that Riftbind that's sitting in there. So that's fine. Riftbind on Hallowed. Well, this is where they die. So they take some damage, and I'm going to let everything through and then kill them with the Spinal. Um, yep, so this is Spinal Dominate, this kills them. So, I will throw armor at this turn, and then, um, no, that's fine. If there's, like, a Shadow Verser or something random, this game's over. Two? Alright, fine, just take my armor. Snapdragons hit me again. Sure. 4, 18, yep, you're dead. Alright, and that was basically kind of me playing aggro. I know it's it's a sandbag, but I hope these videos are informative. Uh, I'm going to do a bunch more just with different heroes, just so you can kind of hear what's kind of going on in my head. Alright, thanks for watching.